So this morning I thought I'd do something that I hadn't done before and I thought I'd make a little rock and roll out of needle felting. Um, we had a kit that had been lying around for years and years and years and years. So um, now I'd like to teach you how to do it because I think that learning new skills and doing crafts and art is really, really important. So I've got this lump of beige wool that's not very interesting. And some of the rock pictures in rock and roll, I thought I'd go for this one because I've, I've got pink and I've got a little bit of white. So hopefully I can do a, a little winking rock and roll. So you just need a ball of wool and I'm sure if you live near a field where there's a sheep you could probably get some off the fence but you do probably need some nice coloured bits as well. Um, but yeah, here we go. So a wee ball and I don't want that colour, I want it a bit brighter. So I'm going to tease the pink out a little bit and fold it in half and wrap it round <laughs> and it takes time but not that long um, and I'm sure you could possibly needle felt a rock and roll while you were listening to a story you've just got to watch that you don't hurt your hands and we put a little bit of white through it there. Now there's gaps in the brown it's showing through. And you have to sort of tease it and do it. And all you have to do then is just take a needle. This is slightly bent. Maybe being slightly bent at the end helps. And just repeatedly stab it. Now, if you're in a bad mood, maybe it's a good thing to do. Maybe it'll be a good sort of therapy. But at the end of it, you're going to have a nice smiley rock and roll. So keep stabbing it and teasing it and making sure that you've got the colours where you want them to be. And turn it every so often and then you have to sort of keep shaping it. But it's dead easy and you can have lots of fun. Very, very quickly, I think that's taken me about 10 minutes, we've got a wee stone. And I'll keep going to make it a bit solid. Every time you just spike it, it gets a little bit denser and a little bit stronger. Just keep getting those wispy bits back into it and shaping it. So in a wee minute, I'm going to embroider the wee face onto it and show you when I've finished. And so there. Through countless sunrises and sunsets they blushed and winked at one another. <laughs> 